Hey guys, I'm back today with Yoda. No, I'm just kidding. Anyways, that's just the key to my trailer. And my lunch money, I feel like I'm back in school. But anyways, uh, welcome back. Um, in my last video, I was talking about uh, the Project Bobber. Um, it's the 883 Hardtail. I just picked up on trade or whatnot. Uh, I did some dickering or bartering. Um, I really don't have a lot into it, uh, but I got a lot with it. Like uh, the value, what I got lucky, just put it that way. Anyways, um, I said that it came with a bunch of extra parts that weren't installed. So I decided to pull one of those parts out today and do an unboxing. This is not a review. This is not an installation video. Um, I'm not recommending these people. I'm not, not recommending them, you know, by any means. I just, uh, know nothing about these people. I, uh, know nothing about the product itself. I haven't YouTubed it. I'm not trying to act like I know something I don't know. Um, I'm going to learn to put it on and make a video. And if you guys don't know how to put it on, you're going to learn with me. And if you do, and I'm doing something messed up, obviously you guys are probably going to comment it or comment about it. Um, anyways, I can't talk that well this morning. I should have got a drink, but I didn't. Anyways, it's a steering dampener which I'm sure you guys read because you've been staring at the box this entire time I've been talking, from DBI, Dynamic Dima Bike Innovations. I just slaughtered the first word, but that's, yeah. There's their website. They did not, you know, give me anything, or I didn't, I didn't order this part myself. Um, like I said, it came with the bike, and it was not installed. All right, let's show you what it comes with. I did already pull it out. Um, just a couple minutes ago, but this is new to me. <laughs> Here we go. All right. Well, we knew there would be brackets. So let's check out the bracket quality. Looks thick. I mean, I don't want to scratch them up or nothing, but they seem to be nice. I mean something in the metal there like uh, let's see if i could get it in there there we go it's not really a scratch it's like an indention and uh yeah there's an indention but uh, maybe that's just the finish or the way i don't know but i might have a new bracket made up because i don't like that depending if it shows depending how it's mounted if uh it's covered up then fine if it's not then that's kind of a uh, disappointing a little bit i mean the finish isn't that great on it. On the other side, it looked good. It bu it's bubbling up, but whatever. Um, little bracket. I could have it have a new one made. Not a big deal. Again, bubbling on the powder coat or whatever it is, but it's got a little bit of bubbles. They must not have took their time powder coating it. I mean... I'm not trying to knock them or anything. I mean, the metal's thick. It's nice, but take a little bit of time, you know, prep it or something because there's bubbles in your brackets. And now I got to have two brackets made <laughs> because or just sand them and fix them myself, I guess. Or not sand them, but sandblast them and fix them myself. Let's hope to God this looks good. It will match my uh, brakes, my Suzuki brakes I have on them. Uh they're off of a 750 Jixer. So they look super cool. They're gold and this is kind of goldish. And then my chain conversion, I'll show you my chain in the conversion kit that I got. Uh, that's also gold, not the not the sprockets. Those are black, but the chain's gold. So it'll match. But this looks pretty nice. This, maybe all their attention went to this instead of the uh, brackets, which that would be totally fine. The steering dampener quality of that looks really nice it's not too heavy there's a little bit but that's just the cast that's that's normal honestly if anything i'm going to take this apart and have it powder coated this piece may as well powder coat it black or something but other than that i mean shoot the finish is pretty nice it's not you know, I won't know if it does its job until I hook it up or mount it or whatever you want to say. But this was just really just an unboxing video just to show you what you would get and how it would be shipped, which 
you would think it would be in something like this anyways but cool awesome that's it thank you guys for watching sorry for boring you for five minutes if you stayed through this whole video it was uneventful i know it was um pretty soon i'll get to the bike and we'll start getting parts on the bike um i'm probably going to tear the seat back off the um gas tank back off and start wiring it or i don't know maybe i'm jumping ahead ahead of myself maybe i need to do the brake lines and run you know the oil lines first and the all that stuff first i don't know i'll figure it out but thank you guys for watching i hope you guys have a great day um if you guys are looking for a steering dampener like i said i can't, I can't recommend these guys yet but uh i mean obviously they make them for road king soft tail sportsters sports all sorts of different years and i'm sure obviously sport bikes uh if anyone has any um experience with these on their bike or or anything they want to add feel free to leave a comment tell me that they suck or they're great um any uh any comments are appreciated i hope you guys have a great day later guys